What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Uh, we're out of the studio today, as you can see. Um, we're in one of our new spaces here that is connected to our Titan Medical Center headquarters. Um, this new space is going to be me and Sharice's Titan Lounge. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have our conference table in here. We're going to have maybe some gym equipment in here so I can get a pump in because I don't want really to get to the gym anymore. Mm -hmm. um, some beautiful couches, a nice little setup for our VIPs. Um, you know, our sponsor athletes and affiliates want to come over here and do some pictures and stuff like that. And a place where we can take our business meetings professionally. Um, because it's real tough, right? We have all our spaces utilized in the other location. Um, so we kind of needed this to really expand to be able to do proper business meetings. But enough of that. You didn't want to hear any of that. All you care about is our tips and tricks to help your relationship go to the next level. Maybe reignite that flame or make things better for your future relationship too. You might not be in one, but you possibly will be in one in the future. So let's go over a really good tip this week that'll definitely help you. And you might not even be aware of that you're doing it, no, right? Um, sure. It's something that's really hard to even like judge by recognize. yourself or gauge, right? It's hard to recognize. Um, unless your partner or somebody else tells you it. Or you might, you know, think about it at the end of the day and be like, oh my God, what did I do today? Yeah. So that tip and trick, all right? Don't push off your frustrations on your partner. Right? This happens all the time and you really don't even know that you're doing it until maybe your partner says something or you realize at the end of the day because you're like, man. Like, or you guys get into like a fight or something yeah. and then they, they voice <clears throat> it to you that, you know, hey, listen, you know, earlier you were mad about, I'll give you an example, I won't say who, but I just had this conversation with a good friend of mine yep. and her husband was like building a desk or something and I think like one of the little things just wasn't fitting into the desk properly and she walked by and was like, hey, you know, I made dinner, do you want to eat? And he's like, not right now, and like yelled at her and she's like, excuse me? And so she kind of like walked away and then of course, you know, two hours go by, yeah. he's coming into the bed and he's ready to like, hey honey, and he, she's <laughs> like, hey listen, I put the pillow on the couch for you because uh, you're not going to talk to me like that <laughs> and he's like wait a minute what do you mean so I mean you may not even realize you're doing it but you happen to do it to the people that you're closest to and you don't mean to yeah. you really don't mean to yeah I mean it's, it's really hard to judge and gauge and you don't know when you're getting frustrated until it really happens to you right and this can happen in all walks of life and you can bring this home from other places too so for example, if you are working a job and you're not with your significant other there, you've had a real stressful day, um, you've got deadlines you gotta meet, you're maybe possibly working at home or just thinking about what you have coming up um, and it's really stressful, right? Because your job depends on it, you have bosses, managers, people that are relying on you to do this uh, or you have you know, your, your other teammates there that are giving, maybe giving you a hassle and you're getting frustrations from them. And then what happens is, is you take that frustration home. Mm -hmm. And you're giving it to your partner, your kids, you know, the gas station attendant when you go inside because they, you just listen, left they, work. They, it's a, we, we won't talk about those gas station attendants. So at that point, like, <laughs> you want to make sure that you're, you're aware of these things. And it's okay to vent these things to your partner too as well. I think it's the best thing to do to maybe get this frustration off your chest is to really talk about it. And we talk about communication every episode. Mm -hmm. And this is just another part of communication. When you have these built up frustrations, you know, from work or maybe it's from your relationship. Maybe, you know, you're in a relationship with somebody, you've told them time and time again, you don't like this, right? right? Prime example, I don't like being late. I tell Sharice this all the time, right? It can build up and be frustrated a little bit. I'm ready an hour earlier. I'm like, Sharice, we gotta go. We we're supposed to be there half an hour ago. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'll be ready in five minutes. Five minutes turns into 10 minutes, 10 minutes turns into 20 minutes. Now you're half an hour, 45 minutes behind. And you've been doing like 80 in uh, yeah. one of the cars or yeah. something. Yeah, we won't yeah. talk about that, this is her. So <laughs> anyway, but this is another thing, that, you know, it could be anything though. It could be anything, you know, that you have these frustrations and then you start like really pushing those frustrations out instead of talking about it. Yeah. And you know, at that point, your partner needs to listen up. 
And yeah, that's the next thing is you have to listen. You have to you listen. Because if you're not willing to listen, then they're not going to talk. Yeah. And then if they don't talk, then it just builds up. And then eventually you have more you, frustrations. Eventually you're going to have to listen. Yeah. They're, you're not going to, you're going to be forced to listen yeah. because they're gonna, you guys are going to have a blowout argument about yeah. something eventually. It's going to get to that point. So, you know, you got to make sure that you're kind of communicating with each other. You know, and you, if you're really busy and things are so many things are going on, you can lose sight of communicating. Right. You don't even realize it. Right. You just maybe like didn't realize. We always say don't go to bed mad because that is the worst thing you can possibly do. Yep. Don't go to bed mad. Yep. I don't even care if you just got to be like, listen, I guess we'll talk about it tomorrow, mm. but I love you. Good night. Yep. Um, but, you know, just kind of communicating before the day's over. So that way it doesn't roll into the next day and it's just a snowball effect then what if you're even more mad and now because you're so mad you don't want to talk about it so i'm always usually i mean mm -hmm. I, I might be mad about something and like you know i never me and john usually don't fight for more than like an hour or two tops um but if i i'll eventually turn around and tell him like okay so this is what i'm mad about okay and then he'll be like you know and, but you see i'm not the whole point is communication and the way you communicate, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be one thing if I turn around and, you know, like, he's kind of, like, catch him in a calm point, you know, mm -hmm. not when he's, like, running around being crazy, and catch him in a calm point. You mm -hmm. got to know your partner's points, too. And you know they got this little tiny downtime that they, they, they're going to listen mm -hmm. and be like, all right, I, this is what I was upset about. You know, let's talk about it or mm -hmm. whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. um, instead of, hey, so this is what I was mad about. You know, I was pissed and this is what happened. And, you know, it really made me mad and you're yelling. It's kind of going to be like, boop. And then, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> just make sure you guys are communicating this. And if you're getting frustrated with your relationship or whatever it is, communicate that. If you're getting frustrated at your job, try to take that stress out in other ways, shapes, and forms. And that could be like me, like working out in the gym, right? I get rid of those frustrations, the stress reliever to me. That's really what it's about. It's relieving the stress and frustrations that you have. And you can do this in a number of different ways. Like I said, you can run, you go exercise. I like to drive. You can meditate if you wanted to. You can go see a movie. Sometimes that calms people down and stuff like that. And you can rationally think about what really happened and you know, what's the resolution or what am I gonna do as an action plan to get rid of these frustrations and really solve the problem at hand. Um, and that's where relationships all the time. Like, yeah. if you don't communicate, you're going to get frustrated, especially if you don't like things. And it's just going to build up, build up, build up. And at that point, you don't want it to get there because yeah. that's going to cause negative effects to your relationship, negative th th thoughts about your partner possibly, and then demise of your relationship ultimately if it keeps going down that path and you keep fighting. So that's the big tip and trick of this week. Yeah, it's big. really, you know not pushing your frustrations out on your partner, your kids, your family, or anybody around you. Dog, okay. And it's really hard to do, right? Not everybody's perfect, so just work with it. Try to realize when you are doing these things and correct it right on the spot. Apologize to the people that you might have pushed these frustrations out on. It's okay, I think they'll understand. Everybody has done it. Um, at that point, they'll accept it. And uh, you can move on and be a happier person, more clear-headed, and uh, just a better relationship all the way around, especially with you and your partner. So I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you next week on another Cubist Corner here on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m. And if you guys missed it and didn't DVR it, yes, that's right, you can DVR it, <laughs> go to our YouTube channel. Check out Titan Medical Center on there. You'll get to see this episode and all the other episodes, plus all our great content that we do at Titan Medical Center, our events, our therapies, and a lot, lot more. Guys, check out our website too, newly revamped www.tightmedicalcenter.com and don't forget about our social medias Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> so I get to the we, will, we will see you guys <laughs> next Sunday 11am, we appreciate all your support see you then, bye guys